slip away, sail away, steam away through the misty gray of Southampton's still waters that run deep into the mighty Atlantic. Steam away on the proud air to a line of ships that grandly bear the family name of Castle. Meet Transvaal Castle. And this is no time to wear that we have done it before expression beloved by travelers. Never before have you embarked on a journey quite like this. Shipshaped by her family's experience, the Transvaal has a character as modern as tomorrow. She isn't class conscious. She likes people. You sense she likes you. And the key to this friendship is the key to your room. Just ask for any accommodation you want and you'll discover that Transvaal Castle is truly the ocean hotel. Follow the steward and make up your mind to accept a fortnight's pampering, a fortnight's dream holiday afloat in a hotel that offers everyone its every ounce of enjoyment. It's an atmosphere that makes sheer luxury cozy. The best way of saying, welcome aboard. Slip away, sail away, steam away, today's way. Feel your ocean-going happiness bubbling within you and feel for your friends left behind. A little tug and you're off on a sun-soaked trip to South Africa. You're riding high on a ship that's graciously groomed right down to the 44,000 seahorses that power her. Goodbye. And that word takes on a wonderful meaning the last goodbye. And now you're really on your carefree way to sunshine. Soon you'll be cutting through a glittering ocean. Your happiness is the triumph of the skilled men who built the Transvaal Castle. Your happiness is the want of Sir Nicholas Kayser, chairman of the company that owns her, and Sir James McNeil, deputy chairman of John Brown's, the Clydeside company that made plans reality. Come inside. Wander leisurely into the intimate atmosphere of the cellar bar. Come outside and admire the classical elegance of the ship that carries you. Remember, everyone is king of the Transvaal Castle. In everyone's fare is a share of everything. The dining room, designed to give the impression of a garden surrounding a South African house, is capable of satisfying 400 C-sharpened appetites at a time. Just choosing the food is the hardest decision required of you. Here you'll meet again the original personality of the Transvaal Castle. Friendly stewardettes to add to your delight in the skill of the chef. Delight is the keynote aboard the Transvaal Castle. You delight in dining, you delight in the decor, you delight in days that languidly leave the rush of life behind. Delight is the keynote that prompts a whole symphony of pleasure. Listen for it here, heightened by the flow of happy conversation. Listen for it here, sweetened by the flow of the ocean. The days sail by until suddenly you awake to find sunshine. You feel you should have been up to welcome this lovely day. You almost reproach the bed's comfort and the ship's stability for lulling you into mid-morning. On deck they're swimming and sitting in the sun. So peel a peach for breakfast, then join them in their fun. This is a real holiday. In a 33,000 ton sun trap that takes you 6,000 miles as if by coincidence. So just relax. There's nothing more for you to do. Lazy days in the sun. 
lazy ways of having fun. Hazy recollections of work that seemed so important and now seems a thing of the past. Yet spare a thought for the people who work to make you forget, who help you indulge in a fortnight's lordly freedom. Too much deck tennis? Then soothe those surprised muscles. A newfound romance? Then find a new you. This is the holiday of your dreams, and everything and everyone fits into your dream, and the dream never fades when you open your eyes. The Transvaal Castle is 760 feet long, 90 feet from port to starboard, but it's only a few footsteps from one amenity to the next. If it's too hot for you outside, Step into the shade of the library. Step into a gracious Regency world with books on every subject under, but out of, the sun. There's a place for every taste aboard the Transvaal. You just can't help enjoying yourself. You can't help wishing this journey would never end. But there's regret in that wash. Regret that your holiday is four days old. Regret, but excitement, for you'll soon be seeing Las Palmas. Now a town of modern streets and imposing hotels, Las Palmas is capital of the Gran Canary Isle, and named after the many palms which once dotted its fertile valley. The flower girls, bright as the canaries, might have come the day before from Seville or Madrid. But the Spanish they speak is tinged with the tongue of the Guanches, from whom the islanders are descended. The Romans called it Canaria because of the many dogs which once inhabited the isle. Plutarch was more appropriate. He called them the Fortunate Isles. But just laze on the beach and think how fortunate you are, or watch the islanders who come aboard to dance for you. startles you with a sudden realization that you've traveled so far. Relaxing, reclining, refreshing yourself aboard, you can't imagine the miles that have slipped away. But the Transvaal makes a speciality of surprises. On this hotel ship, there's even a hotel manager. The sun is high now. As you glide through sparkling waves, can you remember the mist at Southampton? Can you remember the people who lined the quay calling Bon Voyage? You far exceeded their wish. This is a perfect voyage. Can you remember wondering on other holidays whether the water was warm enough for swimming? But you've forgotten other holidays now. Close your eyes and you can still see gold. Open your eyes and you can see the room of gold. Based on archaic Persian motives, the Golden Room's design accentuates the feeling of space that strikes you wherever you go aboard this ship. Space. If you're 16, there's space to be 16. There's room to move in the groove, to feel alive and jive to a beat your feet can't resist. Space. If you're six, there's space to be six. To love dressing up, to watch people watching you, to feel a little grown up, but to know that grown ups don't understand about the fun you can have at tea time. As the Transvaal cuts her way through the Atlantic, the skill of her master and his team 
work cleverly behind the sunny scene set for your enjoyment. This ship is proud of her heritage. You feel the power of that pride when another ship of the line is close. You aren't waving at people. You're emphasizing the part you have in a magnificent seagoing tradition. Tradition there is. But this grand hotel of the ocean isn't bound by tradition or stuffy with yearnings for the past. Little girls with loved pets have no hard hearts to fear aboard the Transvaal. She isn't pompous. She likes animals too, this friendly ship. The Transvaal sets a seal on guaranteeing your fortnight's fun. If your memory is already bulging with a thousand things to tell, you'll never forget crossing the line. Here it's not just another pastime. Passengers are friends. And this is a highlight that spotlights the fellow in fellow passengers. This laughter will ring in your ears on many a winter's night. You'll smile as you remember the faces you see now. It's everybody's finale. Splash into the water, dash into the water. You'll end in the water, whatever you think. But try not to think of the end of your holiday. Think instead of the pleasure that's still yours for the taking. Think of the people you've met. Think how glad you were you could meet them anywhere on board this friendly ship. Play your last game, and if you don't play, and if you've just had a lazy fortnight, and if you've eaten just too well, spend a few minutes in the Transvaal's Fun with Fitness Gymnasium. With her fun and friendship, remember the Transvaal's elegance. Say goodbye, but goodbye now takes on a sadder meaning. Dear Mary, we have come to the end of a marvelous fortnight. I never before had such an enjoyable journey. Everything, the food, the service, the accommodation, the atmosphere, has been just wonderful. I'm almost sorry we've arrived in Cape Town. Cape Town, where the Atlantic meets the Indian Ocean, guarded by the great Table Mountain. Its wide streets gleam in the bleaching sun and seem always to run into profusions of color. the same fantastic impression you had at Las Palmas. How did you get here? Did that fabulous fortnight really stretch 6,000 miles? Across Table Bay is your answer, in the friendly heart of the Transvaal Castle. <laughs>